So now with iOS 16 on your iPhone 14, you can actually change and edit your lock screens without having to go into settings. You can do it right through the lock screen, which makes it super convenient and easy. And they have offered tons of new customizations you can do with these lock screens. So let's dive into all of them. So first, if you wanna edit your lock screen that you currently have, all you have to do is just hold down on it like this and you can click customize right here. So now we have tons of options to choose from, like changing the font, the color, and adding certain widgets. So for example, if I wanna change the color color of my text right here, I can just click on that and I can choose the font and color. They have offered tons of fonts like all of these right here, tons to choose from. And then you can also slide to choose different colors you want for that specific font. You can choose all of these colors right here and say you don't want to choose any of those colors. You can always just go to this ring right here and choose from a spectrum, grid or sliders. So say for example, I wanna choose a red slider. I can just always move this up or down depending on my preference. And this is one of the colors you can choose, but there's tons of choose from. You can essentially edit your lock screen in any way with all of these colors. And you can also choose what widgets you want to be shown on your lock screen. Right now you can see I have my calendar, the weather, and my battery percentage for my iPhone. But if we tap right here, you're gonna see all the widgets you can add and remove. So say I wanna remove my weather, for example, and I wanna add my alarm clock instead, I can just click that right here and now my 7:45 a.m alarm is going to pop up right on my lock screen then if you want more options to choose from you can choose any of these that you prefer tons of widgets to choose from and i definitely recommend trying them and personalize it to your needs and you can also choose the color of your lock screen so right now we have deep purple which is the color of the iphone that i got but if we just swipe over you're going to see we have gold silver and space black. And if we click these three dots down here, you have the option to have a depth effect as well. This will just show it in more detail, which I definitely recommend because it has an incredible display. And if we click done right here, you're gonna see this option as well. We have the option to set the wallpaper as a pair. So this will be the color and display of my lock screen and my home screen as well. And say you wanna customize your home screen in a different way, there's no worries there. You can actually choose a different option for your home screen, but I'll dive into that later. Now, if you wanna create a new lock screen or switch between lock screens you also all you have to do is just hold down your lock screen you can see i have tons i've already created but if we want to create a new one you can either click this plus button or swipe right here and click add new so by adding new there's tons of wallpapers to choose from we have anywhere from photo shuffle emoji and the featured i'm going to walk you through some of my favorites right now so one of the coolest options i think is the emoji option so you can actually have emojis as your background of your lock screen if you scroll down to this emoji section right here they're going to give you a few that they recommend all of these options, but if you wanna create your own, you just scroll back up to the top like this, click emoji, and now you can choose any emoji that you want and that you like and add that as your lock screen. So for example, this was a combination of emojis I used to create this lock screen right here, and I put it in a blue background, but you can essentially edit your emojis in any way and choose from the options they give you, like this one, for example. Completely up to you, but this is a brand new feature on the wallpapers with iOS 16 that I definitely recommend checking out. And if we go back to create new, I also wanna show you one of my other favorites, which is also the photo shuffle. So with photo shuffle, it's essentially a dynamic set of photos that shuffle as you use your iPhone through the day and you can actually change the shuffle frequency so i have mine set to hourly but you can change this right here by choosing on tap lock hourly or daily so i want to do on tap for example and they give me recommended photos to use so let's click use featured photos right here so now this is the first photo in my photo shuffle and if i want to tap i can see all the other photos that are going to be featured in this photo shuffle as you can see apple chose the best pictures i have taken to have as my background i included nature and cities and then also on top of this, if you want to add any widgets or change the font, you can definitely do that as well. And now every time you use this photo shuffle, every time you tap your screen, it's going to change that lock screen right here. And say you don't want all of these photos that are shown to be featured in this photo shuffle, you can click these three dots right here and you can actually have this photo specifically not featured and you can turn that off. So now this photo won't be featured and you can choose which ones you want to have featured on this lock screen, which I think is super cool. And all these photos are great. So I definitely recommend trying that if you you like taking photos and have some high quality ones you can choose the black and white option duo tone color wash any of these options you can choose from with your lock screen on your iphone and ios 16. i want to show you a few of my options that i've created with this lock screen so for example if i swipe right i actually created a john snow one from game of thrones which i think is super cool for all those game of thrones fans out there i have tons of options i want to choose from i have this generic one that they give me 
any iPhone wallpaper you want to choose, you can essentially add. It's going to look very nice with a high quality display and great aesthetics on this lock screen for iPhone 14s with iOS 16. So depending on the lock screen that you have turned on at the moment and set to on your iPhone, you can actually choose a focus mode for that specific wallpaper. So for example, if we hold down this icon right here or this wallpaper, you're going to see this little tab down here that says focus. So if we click on that, now you can link a certain focus mode with this specific lock screen. For example, say I want for this specific lock screen, I want do not disturb linked with this. So I can turn this on. So now whenever I'm on this specific lock screen, my phone's going to be in do not disturb mode. As you can see at the bottom of my screen, it says do not disturb. But say I want to have a different lock screen signal, a different focus mode. If I hold down my phone again and go to this one, for example, and click focus. Now I can have this one in sleep mode. So now whenever I go to sleep, I set my phone to this specific wallpaper, and now it's gonna be in sleep mode for this specific wallpaper when I wanna go to bed. And you can do this with any of your wallpapers that you have. You can just choose a focus mode by linking that and clicking that right here, and just choose whichever one you want on your iPhone 14. I'm gonna turn this off for now, but whenever you want to link a focus mode, just know you can do that with the lock screen if you have your phone updated to iOS 16 on your iPhone 14. And for sleep mode, as you saw, I linked this specific lock screen with sleep mode on my iPhone 14. And if you click this icon right here, you're going to see I have sleep turned on until tomorrow at 745. Now, I only turn this on at night. So when it actually comes to 745 a.m. in the morning, it'll actually shut off sleep mode and my phone will be back to normal with its normal screen, just like this. So for example, so if you like to spend time on your Phone before you go to bed, but you know it's time to go to sleep, you can just turn on the sleep icon right here. Your phone's going to go black and it's going to ask you if you want to go in to go on your phone before doing so because you're in sleep mode. So I definitely recommend turning that on before you go to bed. It's very helpful when going to bed. And also if you pair this with night mode, like I previously showed you in the control center, you can actually prevent any eye damage and get a great night's sleep with the help of your iPhone 14. Also, just remember you can go to the control center and choose any of these options right here through that. But this is a little bit about the do not disturb modes you can choose on your iPhone 14 with iOS 16. You can always create a new focus mode right here and you can choose specific categories you wanna focus on. You can custom, driving, fitness, gaming, anything you wanna do, you can actually create a focus mode for that specific focus on your iPhone 14. So we'll dive into that later, but that's one way you can edit and customize your focus mode in your control center or on your lock screen with your iPhone 14. Also a new feature specifically for the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro is that the screen's always on display. So instead of your phone screen shutting off, the lock screen will always be glanceable so you can see any updates without having to tap anything at all. It's just gonna be darker as you can see right now. But when I pick up my phone like this, you're gonna see it starts to get brighter and goes back to that normal display. So this is a brand new feature on the iPhone 14, but also keep in mind that when it's in my pocket or face down, the screen will go black. So you can save battery, which is something I definitely recommend doing, but this is a great feature for the iPhone 14. It's always gonna be glanceable unless it's in your pocket or it's facing down. iPhone 14 also introduces an all day battery life, which is a brand new feature for this new phone and it allows up to 23 hours of video playback for the iPhone 14 Pro that I have. And I believe it's 29 hours of video playback for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So this is a great new battery addition for the iPhones. It stays supercharged. And remember, you can always just charge it using this right here or using a magnetic charger with a MagSafe compatible compatibility on the back of your screen. But as you can see right now, we have our battery icon right here. And if I scroll down to my control center, you're going to see it shows the battery percentage. But if you don't want to see that and you want to see the specific number right off the bat, you can actually change this in settings. So if we go to settings to change our battery, it's super easy to do. You just go down to battery right here. And it's gonna show these options you can choose from. We have battery percentage, which is turned off. But if I turn that on, what I was saying is now you can see the number of that battery percentage right here on this battery icon. It shows 94. I definitely recommend this because in previous iOS updates, they actually show the percentage and they took it away after that. But with iOS 16, you can now have this option to show the battery percentage again. And I like to have that on so I can just see the number so I get an idea of when I need to charge it. Then as I'm sure you guys are all aware, you know of a low power mode, which will turn on and actually help you save battery when your phone's starting to get low and you don't have a charger available to charge your phone at the moment. If you're still using old fashioned, slow charging and messy lightning charging cables, it is time for you to say goodbye to those. Your phone has incredible MagSafe technology built right into it, which allows you to wirelessly and magnetically charge your devices. If you're going to invest so much money into an iPhone, then you should be giving yourself a premium experience, which all starts with something that you need to do every day, and that is charging your actual device.
Get the absolute most out of your iPhone with Elgear's 2-in-1 Lightning Charging Stand. This stand allows you to magnetically and wirelessly charge both your iPhone and your AirPods simultaneously. Place your phone anywhere on the sleek charging stand and you're going to feel that magnet automatically attach right to your phone. Elgear wanted to make sure that you can use your phone for all of its uses without having to take it off the stand, which is why they included dual coil technology so you can use your phone both vertically and horizontally in landscape mode. This means that you can still send your messages, emails, or anything else, or you can flip your phone sideways and watch your favorite videos and movies while your phone is still being charged in the background. This stand is made with the highest quality materials like metal and tempered glass, and they also put non-slip silicone on the bottom of the stand. Elgear used official MagSafe technology, so you never need to worry about your phone falling off the stand or having to fidget around with your phone to get it in the right position. As I already mentioned, this is a two-in-one lightning charging stand, so you can charge two devices at the same time by using the second wireless charger on the back of this stand. This is perfect for charging a pair of headphones or even a second iPhone. Wait no longer and finally go upgrade your charging experience by going to lgear.com, stop using those old-fashioned slow charging and messy lightning cables, and upgrade to the 2-in-1 lightning charging stand that's perfect for your desk or your nightstand, and it's also being sold at an incredibly discounted rate. So go to lgear.com, the link's on the screen and down in the description. Enjoy! So the iPhone 14 has a new Super Retina XDR display, and as you can see, it is completely incredible, it has such a nice Nice display and aesthetics to this new screen but I want to show you a few ways you can customize your display just to get started with your new iPhone 14 and to do that all you want to do is just go to settings right here and then as you can see iOS 16 is about to be updated but we'll dive into that later and then if we go down to display and brightness right here you're gonna to see tons of options we can start looking at so first we have our appearance so you have the option between light and dark right now I have my iPhone on light but if we want to make it dark it's just gonna essentially turn all the other backgrounds black like on text messages message or iMessage and other apps and just gonna make the overall display a little bit darker so let's click that right now see it's gonna turn the settings black right here opposed to white for the sake of this video I'm gonna keep it light but that is completely up to you but we also have this automatic tab right here. and if we turn this on it's gonna give us a few options to go off of so essentially by turning this on you can have scheduled times to change appearance automatically so if you want light mode on from sunset to sunrise It'll stay on during these time periods. As soon as the sun sets, your phone's gonna transition into dark mode since it's the nighttime, or you can create your own custom schedule right here. I'm gonna keep it sunset to sunrise because it aligns with my sleeping schedule, obviously. And then another feature I wanna bring your attention to is auto lock. So as you can see, I have mine turned on at never right now, but essentially what this means is it's going to show how long your screen is going to stay on before shutting off or turning black. So attention is detected when you're looking at your screen, and when attention is detected, your phone does not have a dim display. It's bright. So I always have mine on never because I like to have it just continuously going until I shut it off myself. But you can have your auto lock turn from 30 seconds to five minutes anywhere in between, and it's completely up to you. Since we already talked about all the customization you can do with the lock screen, I want to show you the customization you can use with the home screen of the iPhone right now. So as you can see, I'm on my home screen right now and I have tons of apps and they're all pretty scattered, but I want to show you some features like adding widgets for an example. So as I'm sure you all are aware, if you have an iPhone, you can add widgets to your home screen. Right here is actually an example one. It's my stack widget where it shows all my favorite widgets that I wanted to add to my iPhone's home screen. But if we hold down the home screen anywhere, you're going to see we have this option where the apps start jiggling. Then we have this plus button right here. So if we want to add a widget, we can just click that plus button. And now you have all these widgets you can choose from anywhere from notes, reminders, fitness, news, photos, anything you want essentially on your widgets, you can choose and add those to your lock screen. So for example, if I want to add a widget for my battery, I can do that right here. It's going to show the options I can choose from with status, which is a small our square icon. We have a longer, more rectangular one. And then we also have this big one right here. To keep things simple, I'm just going to add this widget right here. And now that's on my lock screen or my home screen of my iPhone. So I can see the percentage whenever I'd like to. And also, if we hold down our home screen, you're going to see that the apps start to jiggle and they have these 
minus buttons pop up. So for example, say you're spending too much time on an app like TikTok, for example. If we click this right here, we have the option to delete the app or remove from home screen. And say you don't want to delete it because you like to spend some time on TikTok, but you don't like to spend all your time and it's time consuming. You can actually remove this from your home screen so you don't see it and you're less inclined to go on it. So now if we remove from our home screen, it's not going to be on my home screen, but I still have that app downloaded. And if I want to find it, I can just search it up with searching and Siri suggestions, or I can go all the way to my app library, which is all the way over here. And that's where I'm going to be able to find TikTok or any other app that I hide from my home screen. So this is one way you can hide apps from your home screen if you think you're spending too much time on it. And if you want to locate that app, you can go to the app library right here. It has every single app on your phone that you've downloaded and you can locate them right here or search them right here on the search tab. And as you can see, I have tons of pages with tons of apps. They're all pretty scattered out on my phone, which I should fix. But I want to show you an option where you can actually hide search certain pages of your app so you don't have to keep scrolling to find those ones. So for example, if we hold down the screen again and click these dots down here, you're going to see all the pages of apps that I have on my iPhone 14. And as you can see, they all have a check mark under each page. And this essentially means that all these apps are going to be shown on my home screen when I go on my iPhone. But if you want to remove some of these pages, you don't want them all shown so you can have to scroll less. You can essentially do that by just unchecking all of these. So for example, if I want to uncheck this page right here, now that page is not going to be shown on my home screen of my iPhone. And then also I can do this with any of the other pages that I want, but some of these apps are very scattered out and I don't use them all the time. So you can check or uncheck any pages on your home screen if you want and choose which ones you want to see when you go on your iPhone. So I definitely recommend doing this if you have tons of apps and you don't want to have all of these pages opened at once. You can essentially do that and just click done right here. And now that page won't show. You can also turn on your flashlight directly through your iPhone's lock screen right here. All you have to do is just hold that down like this. And now the camera's going to turn on or the flashlight flashlight's going to turn on right here and to shut that off. You can just do that. And then you can also access the camera on your iPhone 14's lock screen as well. Just hold that down. It's going to take you directly to the camera app right here. So these are a few options you can choose with the lock screen of your iPhone 14. Then if we enter our phone right here, you're also going to see if I swipe down like this, it's going to take us right back to the home screen of our iPhone. So you can do that to access a lock screen as well, but it's completely up to you. And this is how you get around your iPhone 14 and shut it off and all these other features that come with it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. These the best tips, tricks, and hidden features for the new iPhone 14 and iOS 16. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more great content like this. I also encourage you to go to appfindvip.com and subscribe to our email newsletter to get the best mobile apps and games delivered directly to your email inbox. Also go give us a follow at Find VIP, which is our Instagram account where we share the best tips, tricks, and hidden features on all iPhone 14 content, Android, and other Apple products. And I also encourage you guys to go to bestrewardsapps.com to see all these incredible apps like Quick Thoughts and Rakuten that allow you to earn incredible rewards and prizes right at your fingertips. These are all affiliates of ours and they're all great apps that are worth checking out. So definitely check out all these links, you guys. They're going to be in the description of this video. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.